Hi, I'm Zanarung, and I'm the winner of MasterChef Singapore. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my fresh tagliatelle with carbonara recipe. So for my ingredients today, I have my flour, eggs, and olive oil for the fresh pasta. And for my carbonara sauce, I have the fresh eggs, parmigiano reggiano, guanciale, Sarawak black peppercorn, and salt. So let's move on to the first step, the parmigiano reggiano. I'm actually just going to blitz it in the thermal mix. This is going to ensure that I have a very fine texture and it's going to help to melt later on when the pasta has been cooked. So I'm just going to put this into the machine. Pop the lid on so you don't have palms and flying around in your kitchen. And I'm actually just going to be using the turbo setting on the machine. Okay, perfect. Now that I've grated my Parmigiano Reggiano, I'm going to add my eggs in here. as well as my black pepper. So this is actually gonna be a quite a thick texture, quite a thick liquid. And you know, if you do see that at home, don't freak out because that's exactly what we want. Now I can actually just set this one aside. I'm gonna take all of my ingredients and put them into the machine. Perfect. Okay, so for the settings for kneading, it's actually really simple for this one. I go to the kneading, the dough setting, it's set at two minutes, and I just give it a go. Okay, perfect. All right, that's looking good to me. Now, with any fresh pasta dough that you make, you need to then wrap it in cling film and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. Uh, and you can even leave it for a couple of hours, uh, but I wouldn't leave it sort of overnight or for the next day because we're still using fresh eggs here. So now I'm gonna move on to cooking my guanciale to ensure that it's nice and crispy for my pasta. I'm actually going to be setting it for five minutes at 120 degrees. And for this one, I'm actually just going to be going for a reverse stir there. I'll be taking that out, and this looks nice and crispy already, which is exactly what I'm after. And I'll put this into the bowl, which I did earlier, which has the eggs, the Parmigiano Reggiano, and the black pepper. And also, it's really important that you get all of that oil, which has naturally been released, from the guanciale because that is the most incredible flavor and will just bring your pasta to the next level. We've let our dough rest in the fridge for half an hour. Now it's time to roll out the pasta. Okay, moving over to the machine now. All right, let's begin. There you go, I'm happy with that. Now I need to let this just dry for a little bit. I'm just gonna put it aside while I move on to the second piece of my pasta. There we go. And actually, when you lift it up, right, you can actually see through the pasta, you can actually see your fingers. And so that's when you know you've got a nice sheet there. Okay, so the water temperature now is at 100 degrees. There's salt in there, and all we have to do now is put in our dry pasta and cook it for three minutes. So I'm just gonna let this run for three minutes, and then I'm gonna drain that. Now the beauty of the Thermomix here is that while the pasta is boiling, I can move on to other tasks. If there's a sauce or a component on my dish that I still wanted to finish off, or if I wanted to go ahead and set the table for my guests or tell them to get down there, I can be multitasking and doing other things in the kitchen as well. There we go. Let's get a few extra bits of the guanciale on top. And there you have it. This is my fresh fettuccine with carbonara using guanciale and sour black peppercorn. Hope you give this recipe a try and thanks for tuning in.